All right, good people of the internet, we are back. We're back for some more action. So I'm playing against a Boba Fett. Mm. Boba Fetts are guaranteed to have a clear, so I'm, I can't guarantee that I'm going to get value off of my, my swarmy cards. But I can try. A man can dream, I can dream, and I'm gonna get this win, heh <laughs> maybe not, heh <laughs> Alright, so, he's choosing to play like a punan, oh, run away, well, that's good to know, I suppose, now I know he has that, uh, I'm gonna play nothing, well, shit, I cannot believe that those refocused. So, I'm going to wait for them to target my tower. And then I'm going to play this behind it. I'm then going to push this lane. I know he uh, he's guaranteed to have a clear here, so I have to play my cards a little bit more defensively than I normally would. Or like offensively. If I want to go for the win, I have to push both sides. That's the only way I'm going to win this game. If I push a single lane, I know he has a clear. I know he has slave one. It's a very good clear too. So. Let's see. I think he used his clear. He might still have it. I know he has sniper army though. So I could bait out the sniper army. Oh, you going to play it here. Oh, maybe not. I'm just gonna use a special rate my stuff. Alright, let's hope those well that really sucks for me. I actually led them to my tower. Oh well my stuff lived, so I might get some okay damage off on his tower. So that was actually pretty good for me. I know he doesn't have his clear anymore. I'm gonna play these. And then I'll drop Marauder Army as soon as those are dead. And push in. He's probably gonna use his special for not. Uh but I forgot. He does have the sand trooper. Which is pretty useful in defending against that. So I'm gonna continue to play my uh, my swarm and defend cards. I'm gonna stun him here, force him to kind of react. I need him to to react more. As soon as that dies, I'm gonna play Wookie. This way, maybe I can run in here. No, not gonna happen. But he is tanking a lot of damage. So as soon as he plays Sand Trooper, I'll know I'm in the clear. But it seems like he's honestly just trying to defend at this point. He's not trying to win anymore. Alright, so if I can, I'm gonna stun him. Oh, if I can get the kill. Yes. Yes, I think I got it. <laughs> oh, get wrecked, dude. Good game. So, he was doing his best to prevent me from getting in there. But, I, uh, I exploited the fact that he had low health. And, since I had a stun available to me, my game plan was to get the stun kill and then rush in and kill his turret. So, worked out pretty well in the end. So let's jump into the next match versus a Bosk. Bosk is SS tier in draft for sure. Uh, his ability to stop every push is very valuable. But because I have a relatively low cost de de deck for draft, I mean the normal draft deck is like 3.7 or 4 almost because you can't control what cards you're picking. My draft is 
three, so it's actually not too terribly bad. Uh, yeah, I can't let that get off on me too too hard. And I have to kill the rocket trooper. So he's going to have to go back and defend that, surely. As soon as this dies, I'm going to play my little grunnies forward. I'm going to push the opposite lane with a Wookiee. Swap up. I'm going to keep playing cards in both lanes. I need to distract him. That is the goal right now, is to just prevent him from you know, responding adequately to my pushes. I mean, that's all I'm trying to do. So, if you notice, by pushing both lanes, it's very hard in draft to, to respond adequately if, unless you have the right cards, which he clearly did not. So he's gonna try and grab me here, probably. Uh, I'm gonna play that there preemptively. I honestly thought there was a rocket trooper there, but, you know, my mistake. So get my little shuffle on, play the Marauder Army. I'm gonna heal up and, man, that totally wrecks the Marauder Army, <laughs> actually. Uh, I'm gonna play Partisan here, so I have enough, I have enough health to tank that. Uh, I wish I could have died there. I mean, obviously, not in a position where he could have counterattacked easily, but it would have been nice to die there. So, I was able to get off a sufficient amount of cards before he could take anything out. I'm going to Marauder Army the other lane, because he's going to have to respond to it. Uh, I'm going to run in and take his health, and I'm just going to keep distracting here. I need to get that kill, and I'm okay with dying here. I got decent damage off on both turrets, so odds are is that I'm going to be able to take this win. So... Right now, he's got assassins. Hmm. So he just played that. Uh, maybe I can distract him enough in his top lane to where he has to respond to it, and uh, I can take out his upper turret. Shuffle here. Let's go ahead and get another grenadier on the other side. So, go ahead and stun him here. If I get the kill, this is game for sure. So yeah, now I'm just playing cards. I just need to get to his turret and I basically win the game. Got it. So, there you go textbook how you play Lando Lando is actually really good in draft I think his ability to shuffle out shitty cards and get you useful cards is very helpful so I mean I wish I played more Lando on on ranked I've actually hit like 7500 with him before or 7600 and I mean I just have him level 2 so I would play him more if I had him level 3 or level 4. He's definitely a viable hero, I think. That, sh that shuffle ability is really strong. Granted, it can be your Achilles heel sometimes, because every once in a while you get into a game where you shuffle, and it's like you constantly are shuffling away from the card that you want, and you'll never see a card like a whole game. It's happened a couple times to me, and it's, it is very disheartening. But I would say more often than not, that does not happen. So, so this is the first opponent with probably a good deck that I faced. Got to run away. GI is too scary. 
I'm not really sure how to play this exactly, but I'm just gonna play my partisan, stun him. I don't want him to kill the partisan. I gotta run away. Really sucks that he has sniper army. And because of that, I have to play troops on the top. So I'm soaking up the tank shots because I don't want him to get any more damage to my turret. I'm not sure how I'm going to win this game. So I know he has sniper army, I know he has tank, I know he has dewback. Mm. He's got a really good deck actually. And he's got the little spider spawny bastard thing. So I'm gonna play my Wookiee in front. Stun him hopefully. Um nope, didn't work. Well because I was able to do that because I got that kill. I wanna die here if I can. I need to die. Um that gives me somewhat of a chance. I'm gonna get some decent damage on him. His troops are not gonna be able to make it. And if he rushes in, I have a stun. I have a stun waiting for him. So I'm gonna play Marauder Army here, because I'm not sure that I've seen a, an effective clear from him. I've gotta stun that. Oh my gosh, dude. The targeting is so annoying. Like, uh, that might actually cost me the game. So if I can get the kill here, maybe I can get a decent push off on this top lane. Uh, I mean, I'm just doing what I can right now. I don't know that I'm going to be able to kill this, but she's going to run in. Oh. That was good, but I didn't want to die there. And that's going to cost me another turret, probably. So, yeah, this is game. First game that I've lost with the deck, somehow. I'm not surprised that I was to a GI. I think if I play any decent character that has sniper army, that knows how to play it then they're going to be able to beat me like even if he just played one of his tanky cards which he has three tanky cards not including his unique and then he has swarm his deck is really expensive so the only way that I could have really accounted for that was to rush him but hindsight's twenty twenty. so I'm going to stop the video because I think I'm at my length and I'm going to have to play the final game.